Well, here we are, NAM 2024. We've stopped by to see Dave on the Friedman stand. In fact, not just Friedman, all the whole family of boutique things. Yeah. But this man here has something new and exciting. I notice, is this going to be a new thing Series. for you? So it's okay. So we've got Friedman and now we have Friedman Vintage. Yes. I like it. So, so Friedman Vintage is going to be, well, I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. <laughs> um, we have some plans for some other amps. Uh, it's, you know, exactly what it says. So this particular amp was a recreation of my 68 Plexi 50 amp yep. that I've had forever that really spawned every amp I make. Right. So, so that is, was the DNA. The, that was the, the core DNA yeah. of, 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 of every amp I've made. So I finally am like, now, why don't we just make a Sonic, Sonic, I say yeah. Sonic, clone of it with a few maybe added features for, for mere yeah. mortals. You know, uh, we did put a post-phase inverter master volume, but a yeah. kind of a unique circuit that sounds really good, even down really low for, for yeah. people. Talk, talk about that. I've, I've heard the, the terminology of that um, type post -phase of Post-phase master, yeah. yeah. Is this it, is not a normal one, though. Right, this okay. is like so just, a, a but, but unique one. The, the concept, though, is, is essentially to enable the amp to sound like it's overdriving and it's loud, but it's not loud. Is that correct? Yeah. Correct, correct. And uh, it, it does a pretty great job, probably better than any post phase master yeah. that in existence. If you're going to take this down to whisper volume, yeah. you're not going to get a really clean tone because how it works is it sort of uh, will distort the phase inverter of the amp even a little more yeah. to sound like the amp on 10, blown up sounding. If you're looking to get clean down at whisper volumes of this master, yeah, you're not going to do that really. If so, if you want clean, just, just crank it up and, and use the volume knobs. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a traditional two volume, like uh, most four input Marshalls, but we only have two inputs, uh, high and low input. The channels are internally uh, jumped already, yeah. Yeah. right? So you can blend in the bass channel, you know, like you typically yeah. do in an old, in one of those old amps, or yeah. maybe not. And uh, you do have a three position bright switch on each channel. So the, there's the big bright cap that's on the the bright channel of a, a, an old Plexi. Yeah. And then you have a 100 picofarad, which is a smaller bright cap. So if you're gonna roll it down a lot, you probably wanna use the lesser one. Because this one is like, ah, you know. Likewise, though, I did put a bright switch on the bass channel. So, say you have a strat and you want to go clean, and you just want a little bit of sparkle to yeah. it. You can just, you know, dial this in low and just kind of dial in a big fat clean tone. You know what I mean? Or you can blend them just like a jumper old Marshall. You know, like you can turn this down here and blend this up a little here and get the, 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 the sound the sound you're looking for. But I mean my amp in particular that this is modeled after is uh, really sort of geared towards that blown up right Van Halen-esque sort of tone. Yeah. And so in turn, 10, 10, 10, <laughs> 10. Uh, actually I always use my amp with eight on that. Ten off. Wow. And uh, and that's it. That's but great. I always use that amp yeah. with a Variac. Right. So it has a built-in Variac. Oh, cool. So low voltage, high voltage. Nice. So you have that squish 30 volt drop, whatever country you're in, yeah. and then uh, the, the up. I like the, uh, that. I like no that. No loop, no nothing. Oh, it is gone very <laughs> No, it's totally yeah. the original style amp. I like it. So what, pushing out 50 watts if it's on its maximum mode or? Well, if it's on its maximum, maximum it's 50 watts, yeah. yes. Uh, if it's on very act mode, it's gonna be a little less, more like 30. Yeah, I like you it. Know? Well, and I'm... you still have a master that I made it usable. Or in, in this sense, we've been using it with a Friat power station, right. you know, just for fun. Is that, is that, what are we hooked up to here? This straight into the cab. This or, is right now is going into that. Right. But I have a little delay in the loop. 
Because okay. I wanted a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially quiet here, I wanted a little ambience, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a quality to it. All right, man. Well, look, it's great to see you. I hope you have an amazing show. I'm looking forward to trying this. Thanks a lot. <laughs> So while we're on the uh, boutique stand, uh, Miko here is going to show us a couple of products that are a little bit earlier in their development phase. So uh, we're not going to hear these right now, and I guess probably don't know exactly when they're coming. But we can, you can give us the sort of the rough idea of what uh, what's new from Synergy and Soldano. All right, so let's start with the Synergy. So this is our new Syn20 IR, which is a single slot amplifier, but it's got a built-in clean channel. So once you put a module in it, you basically get three channels out of it. So it's a kind of a black facey clean. Very nice, fendery, crisp. And uh, then you get your modules, Yeah. your when presence you say, and your master. When you get your modules, you mean you get your when modules? When you get your modules. Yes. Obviously that's the whole, if you're not familiar with Synergy, that's, that's kind of the whole point of this yeah, interchangeable Yeah, a fully modular thing. system. Yeah. Correct. But uh, what's new about this exactly is that uh, we got the IR loader on it. Right. So you get your balanced out with different IRs that can be preloaded through the software. So is that sharing from like IRX and Astro and that kind of thing, or is it? Its, it's own a similar thing? technology. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's the the synergy technology on that. Yeah. Correct. And no, so you don't need a cabinet for this, or you know, you can. You, can... you don't need a cabinet. You don't need a dummy load. As soon as you disconnect the the speaker, uh, it mutes the power amplifier. Right. And it doesn't put any stress on it. Then there's a power amplifier simulation that comes out from the XLR. Oh, why you even got a headphone socket on the back? Yeah, there's a headphone output as well with a headphone level. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but you also have a structure switch that changes the power amp in the analog domain and also on the software. Uh, there's no really right or wrong way to set it up, so you kind of adjust it to taste depending on the room and the cabinet you're playing. It's great, man. Yeah. I mean, it's so much choice of module now, it's insane. It is. Um, and I've always liked the sort of, the sort of angle with Synergy was always like, yeah, you can do the modeling thing if you want, and that's amazing, and Kemper and QC and all that kind of stuff. Or you can just go, this is like, or you can just do the real thing, yeah. well, real tubes at least, and just decide which, you know, because a lot of these modules now are actually licensed aren't they from the yeah, exactly from the original brand but exactly. okay so that's that and i guess we don't know much about pricing or when it's coming or anything like that i believe it's going to be somewhere around the the third quarter of the year okay. where this is going to be launching that's the information i have available so far that's cool well look as soon as it is we'll feature that on the channel a bit more this looks cool i must yeah. admit i'm not even a you know i, I my understanding of the of Soldano doesn't go much further than the SLO, you know, and the, the 30 yeah. and the 100. But tell me about this. So this is going to be a reissue of the original rack mount preamp. Wait, of Soldano. Rack, rack mount's coming back. We're going back Yay! rack mount. Exactly. So the cool thing about this is that it's three individual channels. You got a clean channel on the top, but you got a normal mode or the altered mode. And the altered mode will be the, the Stevie Ray Vaughan sound right. from the 90s signature Stevie Ray that he had. And then the two bottom channels are your overdrive channels, where you have a crunch and an overdrive on each. And you can save your uh, IR on each channel. Each preset you can have a different IR. I want this cabinet on my clean, I want this cabinet on my overdrive and this on my crunch. All that can be done. You also have a stereo balanced out with a stereo effects loop. So it's mono out, stereo in, so you yeah. can have stereo delays and uh, coming out stereo balanced into your mixer, DI, front of house, whatever I just, you want. I ju it just takes me back to, I remember these Furman power distributors with the lights, and then you need your Korg rack mount tuner, just yeah. so that you can get, and then obviously you need your Mesa Boogie, your power sta section, stereo uh -huh. power amp, 
And wow, I even love the color. It's so 80s. Yeah, it's, it's just it's awesome. the original anodized purple. That's amazing. Yeah. So any idea when that might be coming out? Uh, oh. We might be announcing it officially probably in a few months, closer to the halfway mark of the year. Oh. Uh, and I think it's going to be around $2,500 retail. Wow, that's yeah. cool, man. All right, well, look, thank you very much for showing us You're the welcome. two new products. Thank you so much. See you on the next stand.